Uh, so welcome to ESC Plus with Jamie Davis. Alongside me is Elliot, who is representing uh, Belgium at Eurovision 2019. Elliot, you, you're here in London. The sun is shining. Exciting few weeks ahead. Oh, it's a wonderful weather, and I'm so happy to be here. And, and obviously, is this, is this your first time in London? No, I came like, it's the, the, the fifth or the sixth time. Yeah. I come, but to sing is the first time, yeah. Mm. And, and what have you thought of London so far this weekend? You know, it's, well, it's got a Eurovision feeling going on. <laughs> yeah, but I, I absolutely love London. Every time I come here, I, I discover something new. Mm. And uh, yesterday I went to Sky Garden. Oh, Sky Garden, oh, yeah. It was, yeah, so it was beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. I took a small coffee and I drank it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I mean, when, when you mention London as well, is there, what other parts of London do you enjoy the most, would you say? Um, I, oh, fuck, I can't remember the name of the, um, the neighbourhood, but it's the, uh, the musical neighbourhood. Oh, uh, I should know this. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to have to Google it at the end of this. I can't oh, remember. Oh, oh, no. it, I'm not from London, so oh, maybe that's my excuse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll yeah, figure it we out. will. Musical yeah. street, maybe. Musical we'll call street. it that. We'll call it that. Um, and obviously, you know, rep representing Belgium. I mean, you're 18. You know, you're very young. We're starting to get a lot of younger acts in Eurovision now. I'm starting to find over the last few years. It, do you, what, what, what's the opportunity like for someone like you? You know, to, to get your music seen by you know 200 million people are going to be watching you yeah. uh, in the semi-finals. That must be a big honour. It's uh, well, first of all, it's uh, it's an honour to to be able to represent Belgium. And, and second thing is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big open door and it's a huge opportunity for me to, to be discovered by millions of people mm. and it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um, and obviously you appeared in Belgium uh, last year as well, I believe. Um, and so what's it like, you know, being back, doing it again, and then as in this time finally getting that place? Did, did there, was there any doubt at all or did you just think, no, it's going to happen? Um, can you can you repeat the question? Sorry, I was just saying because like last year, you, sorry, you were in the Voice last year, yeah, weren't yeah. you? So I kept thinking you in Eurovision, as as in uh, you're trying to get a place last year. But you were at the Voice last year. Yeah. Um, you know that experience as well. What, what was that like? You, you know oh. what it's like being in a song competition, but okay. this one in a continental one. Yeah, but it's it's totally different because um, in here in Eurovision you don't feel you don't really feel the competition between the artists. Mm because there are so many different styles that you cannot really compare mm. and um, all, all artists are so, so nice and kind between each other and it's, 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 it's just amazing. Amazing, fantastic. Well, I've got some quick fire questions for you okay. just so the fans can learn more about you, you could say, ahead of the contest. Okay. And the first question is, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ah. Meatballs. Meatballs? Yeah. I, they are good, aren't they? Oh, they, are they good, are especially good. in sauce as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, good choice. Um, as well as Belgium, obviously. What's your dream place to live in? London. London? Oh, really? Oh, it just, is. Just stay here. Really? Don't get, yeah. don't get the flight. <laughs> um, if you had one million pounds, what would you do with it? Um, I'll buy an island. Buy an island? Yeah. Which one? I don't know, somewhere, just an island. <laughs> Where, somewhere, some, somewhere warm. Somewhere warm. Yeah. Definitely not here. Oh. <laughs> um, do you have an icon slash hero? Who influenced you to, to get into music in the first place? Well, that's a tough question. Yeah. I don't have... You don't have one? No. Are you a football fan or sports fan? Uh, neither, no. Neither? Oh, no. that's a shame. <laughs> Normally with me, it's sports icons for me. Um, oh, yeah. What animal would you be? Animal? Um... Oh, I can say it in French, but I cannot say it in, uh, in English. Um, Go on, you say it, and then I'll translate it somehow. <laughs> it's a paresseux. Paresseux. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's an animal who lives in the jungle, jungle with big, um, how do you say, flowers? Uh, who hangs to trees and just stay here oh, all day. Oh, a sloth. Yeah, I think sloth. it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. But yeah they, they hang, they've got those, like, claws. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I think Just they stay here all day. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's my mum's favourite animal, oh, actually. Yeah. So uh, I think she'll appreciate that. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, if you got given the ability to live forever, would you take it? Yeah, just to see the evolution of humankind. Oh, fair enough, yeah. fair enough. That's a, that's a good answer. Yeah. Some, some have said yes, but for no reason. <laughs> okay. um, any, as, as well as you being a singer, is any other fun facts about you any more? Fun facts? I mean, there's loads, but... Uh, I pick one. Oh, uh, 
Oh, I'm not a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. Um, and just a final question. Uh, any messages for your fans? Well, um, thank you so much for the support. It means so much to me and it goes straight to my heart. And I wish you the best of luck in your life. And Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah.